make the most important decision of our lives. What do you want to do? We love this home. We have a lot of great From appliances, here. garages, sinks, hidden panels, hidden panels renovation expert Scott McGill McGilvery rather joining us with the latest in organization ideas for your kitchen reno. But we're looking at your brand new TV show. Yes. It is called Moving, Moving the McGilvery's. Um, when I see this, I think, how did that turn out with a two year old and a four year old? Beautiful little family. That's tough with all the cameras. You know what? There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of crying. There was a lot of frustration. And that was and all And then you. it was just me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to work with the kids as well. <laughs> the tantrums in the corner and the quiet ah, The timeouts. breakdowns. <laughs> Lots of timeouts. But the premise of the show is interesting in that not only are we seeing your family at those vulnerable moments when you're moving and building a new home, but there's a give back angle to it too. Yeah, the show is a little different, and um, you know there is obviously the story of my family, which was was really challenging for me uh, to have the cameras turn around and sort of look be into my life as the homeowner versus me sort of interviewing other folks in there. And, and as a dad. Oh my gosh, it was, you know what, it was really hard. Yeah. It was hard, and uh, the other element to the show, obviously, is that we, you know, we were helping another family in the community as well, which is just, you know, it, it didn't even start that way. That's just part of the real life, and, uh, and when we started filming this show, it was like, okay, I'm going to be moving, I'm going to be building a home, how hard could this be? I do TV shows, I do, con I'm a contractor. All the time. No problem. Well. Wow. Little did I know. Family dynamics ensue. The stress of it all ensues. It's hard. And you know what? It's funny as we, um, and this is a little uh, sort of outside of the realm, but even when we started filming the show and submitting it to the government to make sure it's Canadian content and everything, yeah. we came, it came back with this designation that I hadn't, I've never seen before. And I was like, what is this designation? Are we going to qualify for tax credits? All these things. It turns out that it got designated based on the content that they saw as a, a reality show, which HGTV has actually never had a reality show designation in its history here. So it's you're the always, first. We're the first reality show designation on the network based on the way the show went because it really is yeah. real life. Uh, and it's kind of scary. It's not a documentary. It's not a competition show. It's not a lifestyle show. It's a reality show. Breaking ground in more ways than one. So it's we're very scary. excited. And that actually debuts September 25th on HGTV. Yeah. Let's look at some before and afters because we did promise that you'd be able to declutter our kitchens because you've done this many times. Yes, well, I'm still, do do still doing other renovations, you know, still doing other shows, uh, income property and a new show as well, and uh, helping people with the renovations. So kitchens being one of the most important rooms in the home, sure. uh, it's evolved like crazy in the last 10 years. And everybody wants to know, we, what should I be doing? Doing? What are the new trends? What makes sense? Can I do no uppers? Can I do an island? And, and so we're, yeah. we're kind of have some tips and tricks. Okay, let's take a look. Our first before and after, I believe, is an appliance garage. Oh, I well, see. Well, that's the I before. See. This is the idea that, you know, we have so many appliances from coffee makers to uh, tea or water boilers and toasters. and toasters and all these things. And they kind of sit out everywhere and they can take up a lot of space. So appliance garages, as they call them, are sort of one of these new trends. Totally makes sense. Nice. You can have all your appliances nice and tidy in one space. You can even have pocket doors or a drop-down door which has to trigger the uh, outlets to be non-functional. Shut off so it's you not a fire hazard? Yeah, you can't actually close them in. But uh, this is something we've been designing, so you can imagine you open up a large set of pocket doors and there's your toaster and your coffee maker and all the appliances that normally would look kind of messy Clutter on the counter Clutter the counter space. <laughs> nice and tucked away. I like it. <laughs> up next, the sink. What to do? Do you do the one sink, the two sink, the deep sink, the low sink, the modern sink? You've got some before and after yeah, suggestions. Yeah, we'll get you all synced up. Oh, don't yeah, worry. yeah, it looks So familiar. this was your sink. We took <laughs> that a picture was mine of this morning. exactly. A little oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you know, the, the fact that if you don't have a dishwasher, the sink becomes an even more important and multifunctional type space. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of the deep sink and the single sink, but now you can get these sinks that actually allow you to create different types of workstations. They've Love got it. integrated cutting boards, they've got integrated strainers. So you have these options to have a much more organized and functional sink space. Do you ever do your own dishes? Because I know you like the single sink, as does my husband, but guess who does the dishes? Me. Yeah, of course I do my own dishes. They go right in the dishwasher, <laughs> they come out clean. By the way, Chateau Laurier, yay or nay to a modern makeover? No. No, my Don't answer is no. I've been looking at this and I'm just thinking that somebody is literally trying to make a, a name for themselves or a statement or trying to put their own stamp on it. 
And I think, you know, looking at that, it makes me nervous okay. because you can't undo it. And I think we should honor, you know, I find Ottawa is one of the most beautiful cities we have. It's one of the classiest cities that sure. we have. It's got such great architecture and nothing wrong with a modern building, but don't, you know, don't ruin a good thing. Yep, sounds great. We'll leave it on that. Cav, over to you. Make sure you see Scott and the family doing the reality show September 25th. Moving the McGilvery's. Over to you, Cav. I'm, I'm sorry, I was mesmerized by Scott's hair. Isn't it a thing of beauty? <laughs> it is, there is never a hair out of place. I'm in your seat, Kevin. I don't know how he does it. I was surprised you got through that whole thing without discussing the hair. <laughs> that is some serious hashtag man mane, Scott. How do you keep your locks so it's luscious? It's getting long again. I'm growing it out. I'm growing it out. <laughs> Me too. Miguel uh, oh, no, sorry. No, it's falling out. Oh. I, there was one of the others. All right. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Good luck with the show, Scott.